tomorrow, which is March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to be doing my annual St. Patrick's Day walk. And he'll do it with a little Irish skip in his step. It's a walk that 69-year-old Eddie Williams has done for 45 years. Since he was 24, he has walked from Toronto City Hall to Oakville to honour a St. Patrick's Day journey that began in 1922, when during the Prohibition, a group of Irishmen went on the search for some Oakville bootleg liquor. Al Capone, apparently, during Prohibition, uh, brought uh, alcohol from the United States to the piers in downtown Oakville to a hotel. I'm not sure how many members were there at the time uh, that began the walk, but I do know that the last guy did it in 1976, and his name was Pat Priestman. And then another gentleman named Barney Hurd, he picked it up, and he did it for 20 years. In 1976, he said that he didn't think any young person would carry the tradition on. And when I read that in the paper, I, I was a, about a mile from here in the living room of a house on March 18th, 1976 and I just said to my buddy that I was going to uh, continue doing the walk. And so he has done it every year since for 45 years. I never had any idea that I'd be doing this walk and, and it's a miracle that I basically, my body uh, is to still do it. So next year will be the 100th anniversary yes, of this walk. Be. Is and that a big goal for you? Yes and, and the ironic thing is that the Toronto St. Pat's, this hockey team, won the Stanley Cup in 1922. So yes, it will be a 100th anniversary, and I hope I'm going to be able to do the walk. And for Eddie, it's not just about green beer and whiskey. Every year, he hopes his St. Pat's tradition brings awareness to Canadian veterans. I do it on, in, in honour of the, 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 the members of the, the, the legions and that, and I want people to be aware of our veterans and that, and that's why... Uh, I dedicate the walk for the, for the legions locally. He credits the luck of the Irish for his little yet enduring part of Canadian history. When I think of it that, I, that I've done it, uh, out of seven and a half billion people in the world, that I've been doing this walk for this long and, and the only person that's ever done it this long, and, and I don't know who's going to pick up after me, but I'm hoping that somebody will keep the tradition going as long as we're, we're able to do it. Well, Eddie will be leaving Toronto City Hall tomorrow at 9 a.m. He makes his walk the entire way along Lakeshore. He hopes that a good crowd will come out to help him celebrate the finish with a whiskey or an orange juice. In Oakville, Audra Brown, City News.